Hello YouTube and welcome right back. So if you don't know what that means or why it's a bit out of tone, it means you haven't watched my other video, so go and watch my video before this and you'll understand why this tutorial's out as early as it is. But this it's a mini tutorial but I'll, it's not really a mini one because it's quite a big thing. It's really simple to do. I'm gonna show you how to export your game. And what I mean by that is either export or build, is it means instead of someone having to have Unity, you can put it on stuff, you can put it on mobile, you can put it on Xbox, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, you can put it on anything, web, flash, it shows you how to export it and give it around. Obviously if you want security, serial keys and everything, that's your job to do, not Unity. But I'm going to show you how to basically export it as a computer thing and then how to export it for web and upload it and use it. Really simple, right? So, what you need to do is you're going to actually encounter some errors when you export to web, guaranteed. The issue is, um, for the saving and loading part, where it gets system I.O., well, web can be accessed on everything. Phones, Xbox, blah, blah, blah. So you can't use system I.O. So when you export to web, we're going to have to hide this, the, blah, 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 what they call it, system I.O. So this saving and loading, I'm going to have to hide it, otherwise you get errors. But one day we'll find out how to save through cookies, but still. So what we're going to do is go File, Build Settings. We've often used this to put our um, things on, and you need to do it. But what we need to do now is rearrange everything. Because um, it, when it loads the game, it loads it from top down. So the first thing it'll load is level 1, and that's not what we want. We want the first level to be main menu. And then we want the second level to be character customization, then level one. Then you've got more progress. After that, as soon as you get past your first two, you can bounce off because you can go everywhere. Really simple, right? So what I'm going to do is in platform, I'm going to select which platform we want. So we want PC, Mac, and Linux. Really simple, you just hand it out to everything, it works. Fine. And what we can do is you've got other ones here. So you've like got PS3, Wii, Google, blah, 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 blah. Um, I think you have to pay for these, but I'm not sure because it's letting me freely build, as you can see. So I'm not sure. But web player and PC, I'm 100% sure are free. So what I'm going to do is click player settings. And it'll come up with this big box over here. So, company name, what's our company name? We'll say you 2 in fact, the Slayer29179. Company name, in fact, at, where's the at sign? At YouTube. There we go. Product name. So what's the name of our game? Well, it's currently called YouTube Tut Game. Right, do we have an icon? I don't believe we do, so let's try and let's add one. So if we scroll down, have we got anything we can basically add? Just something that looks half okay. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I'm going to go with a maze, that one. So I'm going to double click that. And cursor, what's your mouse cursor basically. We don't have any cursors so I'm not going to do that one. And cursor hotspot, I'm not going to go over that yet. But all that basically is, is if you have a cursor, um, like a custom one, you can add it to it. Many people do. And if you have a cursor hotspot, what that means is if your mouse is like down and it's not aligned properly, you can just play with this to make it align properly. So, you've got different tabs across here and this is for the different platforms. Seeing as we only exported to settings for PC, Mac and Linux, I'm going to work on this one. So the default screen width and height is that. Is that correct? 1204, 1768, right, that's correct. So when we export it and we click play, it should be that size. Running background, you don't need to worry about that, so don't click yet. And you don't really need to worry about any of this either, that's the good thing. So let's skip straight to the icon. So the icons are here. Override for standalone. Click. So, in fact, let's just keep it there. So, override for standalone, what that'll do is if you want different icons for different sizes, you can set it. But if you want to tick it, it just sizes it like that. Easy enough, right? So we've got that. Splash image, I think you have to pay for, but we'll try it anyway. So, config dialog barrier banner we're going to scroll down what this should be is whenever you load your unity game up or unity you have that light little welcome to unity your game is loading or something like that then it loads the full game that's all it is so we'll set it to that one the maze so it should stretch it and look awful of course 
So other settings you don't really need to worry about either. You're going to go into more of those, so the other settings and the resolution and presentation, if you are going for graphical perfection, really. So we've done all that now. You can go through the other ones if you like, but I'm not going to because I'm only exported to one. So I'm going to come back across the target platform, which are you targeting? Well, I'm currently on a Windows machine, so I'm going to put it on Windows. Architecture, that's basically the build of it. So if you click like Linux, you should be able to choose... Uh, but I did that, come on. You should be able to choose the same, but then you get both. So you, Mac, you can do the same. You basically choose what bit type you are. If you don't know, go to Start, right-click My Computer, and choose Properties. And you'll see... My recorder pops up for some strange reason. So I'll get rid of my recorder. And you'll see right here it says bit type. Uh, where are you? 64 bit operating system. So I'm going to choose 64 bit. Boom. x86 64 bit. If, you're, if you don't know, choose 32 bit. It'll work same, the same thing. Choose 86. If you're on Mac or Linux, I don't know how you'll find it. Google it. Yeah. Development build, you don't have to worry about. Just do them to and click build and that will pop up with your menu so I'm going to take it back to my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder called YouTube game and we're going to go in okay apparently it didn't like that so I've already got a folder here so I'm going to create a new one just new because that's something I must have been testing so in here I'm going to call it um, what YouTube game .exe because they always have weird ones so we click save and you'll see it'll begin doing it if it stops suddenly it means you've got an error that simple so it's not so mine didn't stop simply it just hid but there it is so it's building it right now as you can see and it's gonna take a while because it's a big game so I'm gonna pause it and come back when it's done but what it'll do is when that's finished as you can see it's going to basically export your level and stick it into its own folder and it'll come out as an exe and a folder. An exe is just what you start it with. It might be a dot t h is it for a Linux? T A R Tar Deb. I don't know where it is from Mike, but it'll come out to whatever you need it to be. For example, if you export it to web, it'll be a HTML file. An Android would be a dot AMD is it? I can't remember I haven't done Android in a while but yeah so it'll export and then you'll be able to go and click it and play so I'll be back in a minute boom congratulations on making your first ever game published 12 megabyte our game's fairly okay it's crap but still it's it's a biggish game for what we've been doing on it it's took us 40 plus hours to get where we are but we've been learning from default you made a 12 megabyte game now think how big GTA is when it's 16 gig. So there's like a thousand megabytes in a gig. So GTA is very big. Now you're all like, whoa. But if you go into this, you see you've got your different levels. You've got your screen selector, which you could technically mod if you like. But yeah, you've got different ones. Mono for editing code, resources. It's all there. So if we just double click YTG, it'll pop up with your screen. Oh, a vast always there so Avast is deciding my file might be a virus so it's gonna scan it but as you can see we've got the logo of it so if we click the preview bar there's no preview but okay there we've got the maze game right there it's like whoa look we've made a game you can create your own custom logo if you like I'm just trying to talk while this goes right thank you it should start now so hopefully it should go b -b 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 and on so is it gonna show a splash screen no nope. There's our banner, so that's what the banner's for then, right there, so you probably want something good there. Input, you can, there the jump and stuff, you can customise what you want. We're going to do that as an options menu one day. And here, you can just choose what graphics quality you want, Unity does this for you, and click play. Welcome to Unity, if you buy the game, you can actually change that. You can see, YouTube took game, it's there, and welcome to our game. So play. And you can squash them the like mail's animals. disappeared, and I'm thinking I know why it's done it, but I'm not going to say it yet. So if we I choose am at mail, your command, sire. And next, next, next. Increase it, and finish. So it loads, and we are on. Perfect. We can't get to the space level yet, I need to do that. But So that works fine, correct? 
you can fire, you've got the same glitches, you can jump. Perfect, right? Easy. So just upload that, give it to anyone to download. So now I'm going to show you how to export the HTML version of it. So what the HTML version is basically the one you upload to web, basically. So if I double click web, there, it should begin going switching. Okay, click stream. And what stream will do is basically mean they are going to be streaming it from another place. So they'll click this one file to go to it on the web, but then it will stream it from somewhere else. And don't worry about it if you don't get that. Click player settings, and again, you got to do this stuff. It it gets annoying. So default screen width, we make sure you change 1024768, because I didn't when I first did it, and it looked awful. So web player background, so do you want it white by default, no context menu, or black? I like black. I'm going to click black. So icon, not applicable because you're on a web. Splash image, not applicable. And as you can see, it's easier. So all I'm going to do is click build. And I'm going to find YouTube game, HTML, and build it right there. And it'll do the exact same thing. And I wish I could cancel it because I've already done it. But I can't, so I'll be back in a minute. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. So, it's done now. So if we were to double click HTML, you would see it comes up with whatever browser you've got. And this is going to load. And this is going to take a while because it's literally streaming it over the internet. So you got to give it some slack. So what we're going to do also is I'm going to show you how to upload it in a minute once we've tested it. And it should do the exact same thing. So this is going to take its time to load. And you can't give people this URL, it just won't work, so please don't do that. It'll be embarrassing for you and for me. But as you can see, it works the exact same. Everything works. Looks a bit glitchy around there, but I think that's just for character. We really need to fix that loading screen. Then you can see... Some bits don't work, that's the thing. Like, the noises and the clicking noises don't work. But it all works, as you can see. Kind of. So as you can see... Easy, right? Uh, there's another one. There we are. So turn me into a wolf. See, as you can see, works fine. So now I'm going to show you how to upload it. And now to upload it, you basically need a server which will let you upload files, but let public access it if you want it to. Now, media fire and file server, I don't think that'll work for this same purpose. But a good one, what a lot of people use, is Dropbox. Dropbox is a free service that lets you basically upload junk for free. Um, I think you get 10 gig. So if you go onto it, you need to log in. I've already logged in. And when you log in, register your email and come back. And you'll have this here. You'll probably not have these two files here. But you'll have public and photos. So what you want to do is click into public. And click in, well, here basically. Create a new folder if you like with these tools up here. So I've created one called games. And basically... <laughs> what you want to do is click your files and click and drag onto there and it'll begin uploading down here you'll see a bar going across blah 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 but I've already done it it takes a long time so YouTube game and all you're going to do is right click and choose get public link or copy public link and it'll give you this click copy to clipboard and now you can distribute this to any single person you want to and it'll all work fine as you can see it'll load really well. Well, slowly of course. But I'm going to cross that one off because that'll take forever. Instead, I'm going to go back and I'm just going to load this shorter game I was testing. Boxhead Remake. It's a game I made a while ago. It doesn't work, but yeah. So if you click it, um, it won't work in Unity. But if you right click Copy Public Link, Copy to Clipboard, I'll make sure to put it in. That's Watch Mojo there in case if any of you are looking. I'll tell you in the description because I know what you're all like. But it'll load and it'll be on. And then you can play. Of course, this game looks awful. But yeah, as you can see. So it works. That's how you do it. So if I were to copy that to anyone, you'd all be able to play. But you're not having that one yet. It's not done. So YouTube game right here. I'll copy a link to it. Go have fun. So that's how you build a game. Thank you for watching. I know it's a long process, but it needed to be done. 
Um, it says web player up there and it messes with your aspect ratio. So what I suggest you do is go to file, build settings and double click PC. And that. So if we just click uh, uh, that one, come on, build. If you click build then. There is a way there. Switch platform. That's it. I was messing around. But if you click switch platform, it'll switch it back. And basically, if you're on web, it messes with your aspect ratio. Whereas if you work for a PC, what I suggest if you're uploading it to a website is have two. Here, download the link, stream it now. You know, like Minecraft style. You can download it, you can play it in the browser. It's up to you. As you can see, it's worked. So thank you for watching. I really hope you liked it. Kind of a longish tutorial, but kind of needed. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Please post your links down below. Gladly, I'll accept them. If you come, if you can't comment it, but you want it to be public, inbox it me, and I'll stick it in the description for you. Yeah, that, I think that'll work. Go for it. Thanks for watching, and I'll.